And I'm Raymond Tubb. Well, nearly 18 months after the fatal shooting of Sammy Davis Jr. in front of a busy grocery store on a crowded afternoon, and three months after he shot a dog, Clayton Sutton is no longer a law officer. Sutton was fired by Bibb County Sheriff David Davis after he ignored orders to stay at his desk and not perform any active law enforcement. Chase Ambrose has the story, including reaction from the sister of the man that Sutton shot to death. This was the scene at Kroger on Pine Ono on December of 2012 when then making police officer Clayton Sutton shot and killed Sammy Junebug Davis, an unarmed, mentally disabled man in what was alleged as self-defense. Sutton was cleared of any wrongdoing in that shooting, but the handling of the case divided the community with many calling for Sutton's termination. That cry erupted again in March of this year when on his lunch break from desk duty, Sutton was involved in another incident where he fired on two fleeing suspects, hitting a dog in the process. As the GBI continues to investigate, Sutton was ordered by Sheriff Davis to only participate in training and administrative duties, no active law enforcement. Friday, Clayton Sutton was fired for disobeying that direct order. Uh, well, last week, uh, he became he came across a uh, suspicious vehicle uh, out off of Highway 247, and he uh, instead of going on and calling it in and getting a, another unit to maybe check it, he uh, turned around, uh, followed the vehicle, and then engaged the uh, suspects in the vehicle uh, to the point that he got them out and had them on the ground. Bibb County Commissioner Al Tillman was among the community leaders who actually met with Sutton. He had this to say upon hearing of Sutton's termination. I mean, it's just unfortunate that uh, uh, he has caused a lot of headache in our community. And I think today what the sheriff has done is alleviated uh, a problem that some feel that probably should have happened uh, more than a year or so ago. Cheryl Davis is still mourning the loss of her brother. I spoke to her on the phone about Sutton's termination, and she said it was, quote, too little, too late, end quote. Now, there is an appeals process that Sutton can pursue, but Sheriff Davis says if that happens, he's positive that his decision will stand. Chase Ambrose, WGXA. Sheriff Davis's firing of Sutton brings to close a law enforcement career that was in the past year much more public than private. Efforts to reach Sutton for comment were unsuccessful. Police records show that Sutton had 26 disciplinary complaints during his career.